So if, if I'm you and I'm just getting started and I want to connect with brands like that, first of all, you've done step one. You're, you, I make a list of all the brands I want to work with. Then I would make sure I clearly understand what my vision is of how I feel like I would bring the most value to those brands. Then literally all of my content that I'm creating for my vlogs and the stuff that I'm talking about would be focused on how I would create the perfect brand partnership with these particular brands. I got, I got, I got, I got. First, the first room that I created on Monday, I created it with like six, seven other dudes, which was super smart. Because now I just created this room by myself and it's like crickets. So if you start in a room and you're just getting started with the app, you definitely need to create it at home. Today, I'm just trying to I'm really trying to create some accountability with this room. Like the goal is to get everybody that jump in to this conversation to give us two goals, one or two goals that they're trying to accomplish for 2021. And uh, you know, we're gonna hold you accountable, come back each Wednesday and tell us what progress you've made for the goal that you've created. And so we should go ahead and get started. We're gonna invite some of you to the stage. This is Winning Wednesday. Um, the goal is to make, create goals and then have a little accountability and have a room of people that can ask you and inquire and see how your goals are going if you've um, actually been able to accomplish any of those goals. And so I like to invite everyone to the stage, introduce yourself, let us know what it is that you're trying to accomplish um, for 2021. It could be anything from uh, becoming a business owner or getting a promotion in your job, um, you know, creating better relationships. What are some of your goals, at least two goals that you're trying to accomplish for 2021? I went to New York this past week. I met a lot of people from Clubhouse. I met a lot of really no connections. I met some really cool people. Yeah. That will be able to help me Right. Trying this smoothly in New York. Yeah, I mean, set it up like, um, literally, like, if you were working for um, an insurance company or a real estate company, and you know, their, their usual or traditional way is hit the phones or get like an uh, email list and then just, I would hit this just like that. You know, every single person, but do it strategically because you can get overwhelmed. So it's like, I'm going to go on here today specifically to. Um, find brands. Oh, yeah. Or like search for the owners of brands or like, you know what I'm saying, whatever that particular niche is, make it just about that and then um, build it. Yeah, that. I'm like real strategic about the world like I go into and everything. Okay. Like, I search all day for rooms that I buy. Specifically, I come across a lot of rooms in the creative industry because I don't know how the apps fell into that. Right. So a lot of the rooms that are my pop ups for me to jump in are creative rooms. Right. And for some reason, I get in, I get put into a lot of um, not videographer but um, like film and people who's doing work in the industry in that industry or music. Right. Uh, fashion, just creative in general. Right. So, um, yeah. But do you see a lot of the same people? And once I start, the, the first week I was on there, I connected with really huge people. So it was just like, now I know that, like, the more that they open up a house and the more they get out of the end, it's going to be hard to follow. Right. You know, about who's like legit. Oh, yeah, 100%. Now, who just talks with the game. 100%. So now I'll be like, eh. I got like 50 people. 
stuff connected with on social, <laughs> on Clubhouse, right. that are all like really dope connections. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, I just know that that was going to get harder to make those connections and be able to be put on stage to talk, yeah. you know, and things like that. So I'm happy that I got on Clubhouse when I did. Yeah. I made very like intimate connections with people that I know that people just want to like. Instagram junk, yeah, 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 like, yeah, that's what makes Clubhouse super dope. But right. the problem is, it's like when you do open up to the masses, it's going to be so hard to connect with people. Yeah, no, rooms are going to go from like 25, 50 people to like 300, 400. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Uh, I just invited you like you're not right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> one thing, like, I know it's been around for like about a year. Uh, the tech I, people had it. Yeah, I think yeah. Um, they said they started opening up for people to try it in, in April. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know people that are for a while, like since October. Yeah. So. That, the, that one dude, this one dude got like 30,000. His name is Ed. He's like, like the man, they, they call him like the Godfather. So <laughs> he like an older white guy. I'm weird. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he he got all the money, so mm-hmm. like he be answering mad stuff in like super detail. Well, what does he do? Who knows? Uh, He's just like the clubhouse expert <laughs> as of right now. Okay. <laughs> and I feel like you know sometimes the accountability kind of organically creates itself if you're if you uh, if you. If you're fortunate enough to have those type of people uh, around you, that that support just kind of naturally happens. And like even with this app, like it's been super dope because this is the first time I was talking about this on Facebook Live earlier. I think it's the first time um, a social media app has appeared in the marketplace. Then there's been like such a uh, I don't, I don't want to say buzz, but there's been this learning curve that everybody is tackling together to maximize, you know, how you build and how you make connections and the ins and outs and understanding how the app works. And so, and uh, everybody's doing it for free. Like nobody's thinking about it. Nobody's, I mean, you got a few people that's monetizing it real quick, but for the most part, everybody is cool with sharing information in their thoughts of you know, how you can get the most out of um, the situation. I just think that's a really cool example of, um, you know, just building together, which is, you know, why these little rooms are super important. Hey, thank you so much for watching this episode of Build. We tried to give you all the intricate details of what happens during the course of the day, whether it's intro calls, whether it's building out a client strategy, or whether it's just collaborating with our team and brainstorming. We want you to see what really happens behind the scenes. So make sure you stay tuned, like, follow, comment, subscribe. We'll be coming to you every single week. All right, let's build. Should be around for it.